in this set we are going to talk about recoiling of a gun and how the damping have an important role in settle down the gun to back to its original position it is a it is a typical problem of damp vibration what happened here when the gun fire a bullet the gun recoil and move in the backward direction and because of this spring and damper the system go back to its original position and it is expected that it should go back to as early as possible means quickest return to the original position so the first thing we should understand here that in case of damping there are three types of damping we consider under damped condition over damped condition and the critical damped condition and we know that if the system is critically damped it will go back to its original position or the displacement will become zero in the minimum time that means whenever we are designing a gun recoil mechanism our damping should be a critical damping as the damping will be critical we know that the response equation for the damping will be a plus bt e to the power minus omega nt if you are not clear about this expression you can go back and watch my other videos this is a standard expression we use when we are dealing with the critically damped system where a and b are the constant and by putting the initial displacement and initial velocity condition we first calculate these two constant and then we can get the response of our system the second input data generally available when we solve such problem is the maximum displacement during the recoil that means when the gun will fire a bullet there will be a backward force and because of this backward force the gun will come back to a position and let this is the position after this position the gun will never reach here again why if i will see the response of a damped system which is critically damped the input will bring to the gun to a position which will be the maximum displacement to the gun and beyond that the system will directly go and reach to the zero position so we are interested to find the response of our system for a given instant of time horizontal axis is time and the vertical axis is your amplitude and to solve the problem we consider two types of condition in the first case if nothing is given in the case we will consider that the system is having initial displacement zero and there will be initial velocity and this initial velocity is actually imparted because of the conservation of momentum what will happen when the gun will fire the bullet there is a velocity of the bullet there will be a mass of the bullet so if i am going to consider the momentum balance i will be able to get that what would be the backward force on the gun another aspect of calculating this initial velocity is the conservation of energy generally it is given that the gun will have a maximum recoil of x not value that means when the bullet will be fired the gun will come back and then the, there will be compression in the spring so we can balance that if the mass of the gun is m half m x not dot square this is the initial velocity imparted to the gun because of this firing it is going to be stored in terms of potential energy of the spring but in this case we are ignoring the losses because of this damper in the system but generally we do it and so this x is your maximum recoiling for example it is given that the maximum recoiling 0.1 the mass of gun is less 100 kilo, uh, kilogram and the stiffness is less 10 kilo newton per meter so i i will be able to calculate this initial velocity imparted to the gun and that i will use in my response equation to get the constant a and b so this for the given example if i am going to balance half m x naught dot square is equal to half k x maximum square this x maximum will be 0 0.1 k will be 10 here m will be 100 here and then half will be cancel out and i will be able to get the initial velocity given to my system so please remember one procedure to solve the problem is that you are going to consider no initial displacement there is only initial velocity and for this case you are going to start your solution at this point so when you will solve the equation this equation will be capable to get the answer for the entire length of your uh, motion on the other hand sometime what we do instead of considering the initial velocity we start our calculation from this point that means we will consider that at this point the velocity is zero 
but displacement is your maximum recoiling displacement let me frame the question for this condition it may be asked that you find the position of your gun after the firing from the maximum recoiling position please understand what will be asked you will be asked to find the time taken gun to reach to a particular location from the maximum recoiling condition so for such cases what we do instead of considering the initial velocity input we consider that this maximum recoiling condition is your input for the system and there will not be any velocity the second part i am saying that initial velocity will be zero and the maximum recoil condition maximum recoil x naught will be your non-zero condition and using this condition i am going to solve this expression that is a plus bt e to the power minus omega nt so for this case if your question is like that the maximum recoiling is 0 0.1 i am going to put it as 0 0.1 at time t is equal to zero i am again explaining in the previous case when i considered the initial velocity is there and though there is no initial displacement my time will start from this point but if i am going to consider that the the moment i am starting my study is that the maximum recoil position that means my time will start from here when the question says that you want to find the time from the maximum recoil condition you should follow the second approach if it is not given it is a general question we generally consider that the initial velocity is the input to your system and initial displacement is not there so let's solve this problem design a recoil mechanism so in a gun mechanism this is your k and this is your c so we are interested to find what will be the k and c for this recoil mechanism what is given here the recoil mechanism is such that that it should return to the firing position in the quickest time without the overshoot overshoot means what once there is a firing the gun will move in the backward direction and after then it should go back to original position there should not be any oscillation kind of thing that means there should not be any overshoot the mass of the gun is given as 500 the stiffness of the recoil mechanism given is 10 kilo newton and the recoil is given 0.4 meter that means it is your maximum recoil so for this given system k is given to us that is 10 kilo newton per meter mass is also available that is 500 the only thing which we don't know is this c and as we have already seen that the gun should come back to its firing position in the minimum time we are interested to find the critical damping because your system is what your system is critically damped and how we can calculate this critical damping we know the formula for the critical critical damping that is 2 under root k m or we can say 2 m omega n are the two formula to calculate the critical damping this critical damping is the property of your system and it is not dependent on the damping value means by using the k and m value we can select that what should be the damping magnitude so that the system will be critically damped that means for the given question the one part what we need to do it is given that you should design the system designing means you have to define what should be the value of c and what should be the value of c k is already given so for the given question we need to find the value of c as the system is critically damped we will first calculate the cc value and you need to find what is the time taken to the gun to return to 0 0.1 meter position that means what if i am going to fire i expect this would be the plot when i will fire the gun the gun will go to a maximum position and that is given as a 0 0.4 meter after then the gun will go back to original firing position and it will reach to the zero position in the question it is asked when the gun will reach to a position of 0 0.1 meter what is the time taken let's see what next is given you will need to calculate the time for two condition in the first case from initial position initial position that means we are interested to calculate the time taken when we just do the firing so when we will do the firing because of the firing the gun will move back so moment the fire will happen the time will start as my time will be zero here so the time is zero here then the gun will go to the maximum displacement position and beyond that again it will go back to the original fire fire position in the second case it is asked find the time taken to reach to 0 0.1 meter from the maximum displaced position 
that means in the second case we are only interested to find this much time so please remember when we are solving the first part we are going to consider that there will be initial velocity imparted to the system but initial displacement will be zero so for case a this would be the condition and we have seen our equation is what xt is equal to a plus bt e to the power minus omega n t omega n is nothing but your natural frequency which will be k by m both k and m given in the question my m is 500 and k is 10 kN. so using these two quantity i will be able to get the omega n a and b can be calculated by using these two initial condition if i am saying my displacement is zero when time is equal to zero so when i will put this condition it will be zero a plus zero and then it will be just one because t will be zero so my a will comes out as zero then I need to differentiate this equation and I will get the velocity expression and velocity expression will be so when I will put t is equal to 0 and my velocity is not 0 I have to first find the velocity and I can get the velocity by just applying half k maximum recoil square is equal to half m x naught dot square so when I will put this is 10 kilo newton my maximum recoiling 0 0.4 mass is 500 i will be able to get this risk initial velocity once i will get this initial velocity i will put this initial velocity here so my expression will be what initial velocity and for this initial velocity time will be zero so my expression will be what a minus omega n plus b so my b will be what my b will be i have already calculated that a is zero so this term will again zero so b will be nothing but b will be your initial velocity when i will put this a and b quantity in this expression my final expression for the displace uh, will be what it will be zero plus x naught t e to the power minus omega n t using this expression i will be able to get the response of my system and it is given in the question what would be the time required when this value reached to 0 0.1 meter so 0 0.1 is equal to x naught t e to the power minus omega n t this expression requires either trial and error approach because not exact t value is given so, so this x naught is available this is the initial velocity and this initial velocity is this quantity one and by using the trial and error you will get the your final time that will be required to reach the gun back to original position so if i will go and plot the system my time t is equal to zero here some time will require to reach to the maximum displacement position that is 0 0.1 and beyond that it will go back to the original firing position and suppose this is the position which is having 0 0.1 displacement what would be the time so this time will be calculated by this equation in the second case we are stating that find the value of time from the maximum displaced position so what we are going to do here this is again our plot we know that the gun will reach to the maximum displaced position 0 0.1 and some time will require to reach this position but i am not interested in this time i am going to consider that my time will start from here then the system will move to 0 0.1 meter position so here i am only interested to get this time and for this what would what would be my initial condition I am going to consider that my initial displacement is 0 0.4 and my initial velocity is 0. This approach is little simpler as compared to the previous because we are not going to calculate the initial velocity. So here I am going to put that my displacement will be 0 at time t is equal to 0. So for t is equal to 0, my expression will become x naught is equal to a and remaining all term will be 0. So a will be your initial displacement and that is given so a will be 0 0.4 when i am going to consider the second condition my velocity will be zero so i need to differentiate this expression and we have seen earlier that the differentiated uh, expression is what is equal to zero in this expression i will get zero is equal to a minus omega n plus b so b will be your zero point i have calculated a is nothing but 0 0.4 so 0 0.4 omega n will be my b value 
I have already calculated the omega n using the mass and the displacement. My omega n is nothing but under root k by m. So using this, uh, all these quantities, my final displacement expression will be 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 omega n t e to the power minus omega n t. Using this expression, I am able, I will be able to calculate the time. Here again, I am going to put 0 0.1 is equal to nt. Using trial and error approach, here also you can calculate the time required to reach to the original position.